It's the Catholic Guy Show on the road. This week, Lino heads out to the windy city of Chicago. The Bears. The Bears. Now, here's Lino Rulli. Hello, Catholics and everyone else. It is the Catholic Guy Show in Chicago, Illinois, broadcasting as I'll be doing all this week from Spirit Juice Studios. Now, what is Spirit Juice? What a wonderful name that is. And I thought, well, since I'm here all week, let's bring the guy who I think named it onto the show. And if he did not name it, he can at least explain you, it you to me. You brought the wrong person that didn't name oh, it. Oh, even better. Hey, Rob. Hey, Lino. People are thrilled to be able to come and watch me work. And I, I always have to do the same thing over and over again. But first of all, there's a reason why people in radio don't have live studio audiences, but instead have people sitting on hold who they can take or not take on the phones, is because it's a lot of work bringing a lot of people in here, and then there's just nothing but disappointment once you actually come in and see me. Are you a Catholic? I see yes, you're, I you're wearing a necklace, and there's a little cross at the back mm-hmm. of that thing. And how long have you been a Catholic for? Now, I'm going to guess. Okay. I, I, loved, I love profiling. I love determining <laughs> who I believe. I think you've been a Catholic your whole life. I think you were born and raised Catholic. I was born and raised Catholic, but I took a 40-year break. Good for you. (laughs) (laughs) You took a 40-year break. What on earth was that about? Oh, wait. You You don't even look 40, so you you left early. You must have left this church early. (laughs) Well, how how old were you when you left the church? Uh, 16. Right away, huh? Mm-hmm. I mean, you got your driver's license and literally <laughs> hit the road. Yeah, you drove out that parking lot and away you went. I believe you are not Catholic. What do you think of that? Uh, you're incorrect. Oh, jeez, no, I really insulted you. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, but you're. I think you're on the right path. Ah, you sense something about me. I'm sure. Yes, there is something weird about you. <laughs> <laughs> There's a disturbance in the Catholic force. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus ascended into heaven and he passed through the clouds and we just didn't see him again but now if i understand pluto isn't a, i know but 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 pluto's still out there and then jesus had to go past pluto and he had to leave <laughs> the milky way or the, there's other these galaxies and then he sees neil diamond no, no, no. <laughs> armstrong <laughs> well, why, why would he see neil diamond i mean he's out of this world. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Because Neil Diamond is out of this world. What, what was I? That's what I should have said. Yes. I had no idea. Well, you got to get out more. This I is the problem. Me. You're a priest in the Midwest. You haven't seen the world. <laughs> you have a passport? I'm a bit sheltered. Yeah, I do have a passport. <laughs> so it's this is the newest one. Again, you can find it. Uh, well, he's got the album called The Symphony and the Static. Right. People can find that at fatherpontifix.com. You got to spell that out. F R. Pontifix. Yeah. Hey, it's on iTunes too. Yeah, I was going to say, iTunes. does anybody buy? You were nice enough to give me a CD here, which I appreciate. Does anybody buy CDs anymore? Is everything Not really. on iTunes, right? I mean, some people do order them, but yeah, I mean, ninety percent is through digital. No, so no, all, and all the money from this goes into your pocket, right? Yeah, it's for my condo in Miami. <laughs> it's uh, really had this kind, con- you know, this understanding of priesthood that I didn't really think that I fit the mold for that. Why uh, is that? I, st- I thought I was too normal to be, <laughs> honest, to be honest. And be- beyond that, it was just one of those things you kind of maybe put them up on pedestals. Um, How think- tall are you? I'm six one. See, that's what I thought. You wouldn't need to be put on a pedestal. And what you've handed me here is something printed off of the internet from the Vatican's website, Vatican.va. I don't know why I'm promoting their website, but... <laughs> Uh, and it, it's Pope Francis's general audience from St. Peter's Square, Wednesday, May 7th, 2014. Happy anniversary. Tomorrow will be the 10-week anniversary. Yes. Thank you, folks. Yes. Of Pope Francis meeting me. Yesterday we celebrated. <laughs> what, did I say that wrong? Now, Mean Jean, who was just here, when I said, what was it like to now that you get to see me in person? She didn't look me in the eye. She looked a couple inches up, and look, she looked at my haircut. And that, that, and she's now giving me a thumbs down on the haircut. Well, geez, Louise, that's very sweet of you. So Spirit Juice Studios is what? Spirit Juice Studios, we're, we're a production company focused on serving the Catholic Church. It's serving people that would say that they're Catholic. So nonetheless, well, Rob Kazmark, uh, you're here. What's your title here at Spirit Juice Studios? I am the creative director. What a title to give yeah. yourself. So uh, they're the best around, folks. If you want to know if, if for some reason you you have video needs. I mean, who needs video? But if you have television production needs, 
Film, video. If you have film production needs. Yeah. If you're a television network looking for a production company, yeah. I recommend Spirit Juice Thanks. Studios. And the Catholic Guy Show is broadcasting from here all this week. They are here for me, if you will. CatholicGuy.com is the website. Hey, we got to take a break, and we will be back from Chicago, Illinois, after this. Rob's got this whole thing going on, which is what I guess the kids nowadays call a look. <laughs> The whole thing. Regular listeners of the show know that I always am going for a look. CatholicGuy.com. You find me on Facebook and Twitter. Two weeks ago, I bought uh, glasses. What hipster, would you call them? They're hipster glasses. Hipster glasses. Yeah, they're like right? Ray Bans, but. Do you really. think they make me look younger? Do they make me look hip? Or as a hipster yourself, do you know it's not working? Well, see, hipsters never like to be called hipsters. I don't want to be hips. I, I want to be called young and mildly relevant. You look. You look like you're trying to look younger, <laughs> but you. But the thing is, you kind of do look younger, so it it, it kind of works. <laughs> I look like I'm trying to look younger. So while I'm broadcasting from Chicago this week, I'll be asking my friend Rob Kazmark, if in fact that's his name. You got it. To change my look, to make the the clothing look right, to the glassware, to the haircut, and it all. So tomorrow you need to take me to your haircut place. Well, my sister cuts my hair. Well, tomorrow so you're going, we're going to my sister. Your sister has to come over. Yeah, here. I don't understand. Well, I'm just as far as fashion. I'm proud of you. Usually, you wear a shirt like you, it's like a triple extra large. <laughs> <laughs> so this looks like it's just an extra large. So I'm already proud of you that you're not. This shirt I, fits. Well, you're a skinny guy, and like uh, key to like, you know, looking younger and stuff is not wearing a shirt that like you know your dad bought you. And why did you look at me like you wanted to hit me when I said that I would, uh, that I ate deep dish pizza? I will be eating deep dish tonight. I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, why are you jealous? You live in Chicago or Michigan or whatever, but I mean, you, you're around here, so you can eat pizza. Yeah, but the really good stuff you're going to go for. Yeah, oh, you can't do that? Well, you just don't. Well, you got a bad heart? Well, my heart's okay. Oh, well, you don't have to rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> where did all the, the elements come from? And I, I don't know, actually, but, but, I'm not, but I don't know where milk comes from, technically. I mean... <laughs> Like, I know where it comes from, but I don't know who first decided I should take a sip of that. Yeah, that was weird. And yeah, <laughs> that was really right? weird. Right? I mean, that guy was, yeah. old. that guy, that guy. There's something was wrong with him. Eventually, yeah. that guy died from eating or drinking something that killed him, And right? how did he start eating cheese? That's what I want to know, this too. Is, but I mean, I mean, disgusting. I don't even make a joke here. I, yeah. Whoever this disgusting human being was, <laughs> who was all this gigantic cow and goes, I wonder how that tastes. Oh, well, well how, do you, what, what do you, how do you know what that is? Yeah, and then would. drank it. But right now, I'm a 42 year old guy, and I, I don't know how you make a, a cheese. Does it come from milk? It does, uh, but that's all I know. See, but that's what I mean. I don't. This is how simple my life is. I don't even know where that comes from. <laughs> so for you to talk about the elements and how God created everything, yeah, it makes sense to you. <laughs> but it's okay. Do you believe in God? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? I do. And Jesus Christ is God, for those who are curious, <laughs> trying to take their notes at home. <laughs> uh, are they separate? Okay. So now that's a start. So now the rest of it here, now I am going to give you advice. Okay. But I'm not going to tell you to go to church. Okay. Ooh, what will you do? Huh? What should I do? Huh? So that's very freeing, right? Mm. You should ask God if you should go to church more regularly. Mm. See if he comes up with an answer for you. And guess what? If he doesn't, you're off the hook. All right. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you give them a chance, right? <laughs> I think about sometimes is we've uh, not, not everybody has had a family member or friend who has died, but for most part, we all have somebody, right? Yeah. And, you know, and whom we pray for, if not every day, on a regular basis. And so when I go to mass, you know, even during the about, ha well, I call it halftime of mass, when they do the. The intentions? Intentions, that's what it is. It's a tricky word. I, the reason I call it the halftime of Mass is because at that point in the Mass, the readings are done, the homily is done, the creed is done. We do the intentions, let us pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer, and then they ask for our money. And when they ask for your money, you're about halfway through. Am I right? I wish we could just sit around and do this forever, but I can't because they want me to stop talking. Because they want another show to start they're talking. They're forcing you to stop they're, talking. They're asking somebody else to talk so that <laughs> Lino stops talking. CatholicGuy.com for, well, me when I'm off the air. Facebook and Twitter, it's like hearing me without the radio. And I've been here with Rob Kazmark. You can find Rob's work at SpiritJuiceStudios.com. They're nice enough to let me broadcast from here all this week. 
They do some great TV production for those of you suddenly needing to spend millions of dollars on TV production work. <laughs> you go do so. And, of course, we're going to be back here tomorrow. Rob will be with me. Mm-hmm. Uh, Father Pontifex, the uh, rapping priest, will be with us. Rapping priest. That and much more. It's the Catholic Guy Show in Chicago. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs>